I don't even remember ordering this, but I, obviously I did. Hey loves, today we are going to do a BH Cosmetics haul. I found this whole box of stuff that I vaguely remembered ordering, but it's been quite a bit. But we're just gonna jump in. I'm gonna show you what I got. If you guys like videos like this, please subscribe so you can see more here on my channel every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So we are going to jump right in. So the first thing on top right here is the Glam Reflection Palette in Rosé, I believe. Rosé. So it's kind of the rose gold one. I was really excited about these palettes. They remind me a lot of the... What were they? The Nude Something or Pure Nude palettes? I don't remember, but I really liked those. Uh, this is what it looks like. There is a big old mirror in here. This is what it looks like. Really pretty. It looks like a really great everyday palette. Ooh, I'm gonna swatch them. Look how beautiful that shade is. They just came out with another one that's like a gold one that looks so beautiful. So there's a few of them. The Beach Cosmetic Shadows are like, they're very, are like really pigmented. You guys know what I'm trying to say, are really pigmented. Of course I swatched, whoa, girl, girl, look at this. Those look nice. I was gonna tell you right now, let me know which one of these palettes you want to see a tutorial on the most. I really want to start incorporating more BH Cosmetics into my videos, because when I did a poll on Instagram, you guys seemed to really be excited about BH, which is this kind of beautiful lid shade. It's right there. Wow. Yeah, these are very, very soft and pigmented. Girl. That is nice. Um, the prices on BH Cosmetics are pretty much always fluctuating, so just keep an eye out for them. I think these, I think it was around 10 bucks, probably between 10 and 15. I also picked up this one. This one is L'Amour, L'Amour, L'Amour. I'm not sure it's the pinky one. I think this is the one that like made me place the order. This one had just dropped and I was like, but I need it. I saw them post like a pinky red look around Valentine's Day. So I must have ordered this in February. Um, but look at this palette, you guys. Oh, it's so beautiful. Even though like I'm having a hard time wearing reddy shades and pinky shades right now because I am so pink. Once my hair is a lighter shade because I do want to eventually get back to baby pink hair is my favorite, my favorite. Might go lavender too though. We will see, who knows what's gonna happen. I'm just excited that my, knock on wood, hair's doing okay. This looks freaking stunning. It's a really nice mix of shades. I feel like this is a really good like night out palette because you've got a lot of deeper tones. But then there is that little white right there. There's a nice transition shade. You can have olive eye, like an olivey green eye, a nice berry eye. You know I have to swatch some of these, especially these berry shades because I can't not. Look at that. And you guys know, if you know me, if you have been here a little while, you know I love a freaking matte brown with some glitter in it. I don't know why, I just... It gets me, it gets me. Look at this. Those are so pretty. Let's watch that olive green. Mm. So again, this is the Glam Reflection Le Amour, I believe. I believe I could be saying that completely wrong because you know I love to do that. I have a lot of palettes in there, so I'm gonna kind of switch it up and just, I'm literally just grabbing randomness out of there. So this is the BH Liquid Lipstick in Marsha. I think Muse, I think it's called Muse, is like my favorite, my favorite. I love BH Cosmetics Liquid Lipsticks, any of the ones I've tried. The formula is so thin and comfortable. Ooh, you guys, it's beautiful. I kind of want to put it on instead of what I'm wearing, but I've got like five lipstick on, five lipsticks on, so I'm gonna leave it on. Actually, if you want me to be real, I have four, three and a lip gloss, but, so I'm gonna leave it, but this looks absolutely stunning. Oh, this is beautiful. Perfect, perfect. What is this one? This one is Sophia. We have Sophia. Girl. It's kind of like a nudie brown, but like a lighter nudie brown, so it's probably gonna be my jam. I bet those two mixed would be really cute too. This one is Alice. Yes, please. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I love all of them. I got some brushes. I don't even remember like what motivated me, but maybe it, cause it was, I definitely ordered this before at Pink Hair. And I think I was just like fiending for some pink in my life. So this is the Sculpt and Blend Fan Faves 10 Piece Brush Set. So you get an angled blending face brush, a small angled blending face brush, flat top buffing brush, tapered. This one's gonna be a bomb highlighter brush. Then obviously like foundation and contour and stuff. So I like sculpt and blend. Yeah, <laughs> let's look at a couple of them. Ooh, this looks like a really nice blush brush. Look at this, that's like boop, 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 boop. Ooh, it's soft. Very nice, these feel really nice. I really do like BH Cosmetics brushes. Ooh, look at this. Is this the one that Ron Beauty Christie always uses? 
having like a moment. Like maybe it is, I don't know. She, I know she uses a BH Cosmetics brush to highlight. I just don't remember which one it's called. So if it is, then I'm stoked because girl knows what's up. Um, but these are adorable. I literally just bought them because they were hot pink. <laughs> so it looks like there are five larger brushes and five smaller brushes. This one right here could be a good concealer brush, um, as could this one. This one I feel like would be a good under eye concealer brush and then like spot concealing. Um, I'm gonna probably use this one to highlight. Then these two I'll probably just use as shadow brushes. So those are the five smaller ones in the kit. Then we'll go through the bigger ones. This one is the 124. Again, I think this one would be a really good blush brush. Then we have a flat top brush. This would be a really good foundation brush or just all over kind of buffing in powder. I might use it more for that. It's really flimsy, so I'm not sure I wanna use it for foundation, plus I'm obsessed with sponges right now. Then we have the flat contour brush. I would use this either to actually I probably place my contour with it. I mean, it's kind of flimsy, so you probably could blend it out a little bit, but I don't think it's really going to be great for contouring. Like it's gonna be great for placing your product, but you're probably gonna wanna use another brush to blend it out. Um, or like how I, Jaclyn Hill will always like carve out her. She like uses a brush like this just to kind of stamp powder on so it really cleans up her contour. I feel like with all these lights, you can't even see how much contour I have on. But that's what I would use that one for. So I'm not even sure what I'll use this for. Probably blush. Probably blush. And then this might be good for setting the under eyes. I'm excited about this. I kept telling myself I didn't need it. And then everyone kept swatching it and swatching it and wearing it. And I was like, okay, fine. I need it. This is the Zodiac palette from BH Cosmetics. First of all, it has a really nice mirror. Wow. Look at that. Those mattes. I've heard the mattes are insane. And this is supposed to be a highlight which that was kind of lackluster, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe it's a lot of baked products. I find that if you really dig into the product, they have like a kind of tough outer. Oh, okay, see, see, don't judge a book by its cover. Wow, look at that. Bam, when that hits the light, like just in the right spot, that's beautiful. It's like a white gold. Born June 20th. Let me know if you know. And apparently there's like new signs. I don't know. Anyone have any info? I'm totally curious. Let me know. Looking at Virgo, like, hey, what's up? Get on my face in Taurus, which are both beautiful lid shades. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. It's gonna be the longest video because I have to swatch all the things. Let's watch a few of these warm tones. In the Oh, so the actual swatch on the hand doesn't look as beautiful as it does when I tap my finger into it, but like, Look at that pigment. I'll swatch a purple one because there's a few purple ones. Look at that. Ooh, she pigmented. That Aquarius shade though is insane. Do you see that duochromey goldy? I can't stop swatching. Like I can't, I can't stop. So I should stop now. Okay, that's the Zodiac palette. Duo brow pencil. Shade and Define. And I got this in medium. Um, I definitely purchased this before I dyed my hair back to pink, but let's see. So it's got one end that's got like a really tiny, like brow whiz size pencil, which I'm all about. It's my favorite. It looks cool toned, which will work well for me. And then this one is like the shading side. So I think you're supposed to define it with the tiny one, like line your brows and then fill it in with this one. So I'm definitely intrigued and excited to try this guy. As always, I'm all about like these brow products because I feel like brows are where I struggle the most. So I'm always excited to try a new one. One of their glitters, and this is in pearl. Look at this. We're not gonna open it all the way. I mean, I'll, I'll take it out of the box. What it looks like. It's white, so it's hard to see with all these lights but it reflects kind of green and purple iridescent. We'll put it on my eyes soon and then you'll be able to see it. Okay, so we picked up three separate brushes. This is the Brush 16 Tapered Blending Brush. Ooh, and it's got the soft touch handles, which is really nice. So this is the Tapered Blending Brush. It's really long, but I feel like it's going to be really nice on the eye. I like that they're soft touch, so that's cool. Ooh, so this is a highlighter. What is this? The Brush 18 Tapered Highlighter Brush. Beautiful, I'm excited. I feel like it's gonna be perfect for my cheeks. Oh, it's so cute. Look how tiny this little blender is. Brush 17, a small tapered blending brush. Oh, it's so cute. It's gonna be so perfect for my tiny crease. Yes. Yeah, so those were individual brushes. I have a couple more things to show you. I got this guy. They didn't have the festival palette at the time that I ordered this, otherwise I probably would have gotten the festival palette, but this is the Club Tropicana, 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 28 color foil eyeshadow palette. 
I really like the BH Cosmetics Foiled Shadows. The perk of this is that you can use them wet or dry. They are very, very pigmented. Girl. These ones right here are kind of lackluster, not foiled. So let me just, I'm gonna spritz the brush. I mean, it's pretty. So the bottom one is it foiled and the top one is just it dry. So it does change quite a bit in color. They don't feel as foily as the last ones. I don't know. I'm kind of intrigued by this like bright green in the palette. This one. You guys want to look with like that green? I think I saw actually someone do a look with like the greens in this palette, like the bright ones and like, and I was like all about it. So I think that's why I bought it. I'm not gonna swatch too many more out of this one because this video is already so long. And um, they do, that does look really pretty once it's foiled. So these ones I probably would, I'm probably going to use exclusively wet. I grabbed one of the Studio Pro palettes. They just came out with these giant palettes. I got the Ultimate Artistry Shadow Palette. So I got the more colorful one. I really, really wanted the neutral one, but I was like, girl, there's some neutral shades in this palette. So you're gonna have both. Just get the one with color so you have that option. This feels, this is like really, like that's a thicker palette for them. Okay, this is what it looks like. I really feel like those warm browns, oh, sorry, I always get turned around with the monitor. These warm browns, ooh, are just like beautiful. Beautiful, and there's a lot of pinks and blues, just pretty much any color in there that you could really think of. Um, I guess there's only yellow, but pretty much all other bases covered. I've seen some really beautiful looks come out of this palette. Ooh, I have to touch this one. This one reminds me of the blue green that's in Subculture. Um, so I'm just swatching some of these. I need to... Oh, what's cool is it talks about the finishes that are in here too. Like there are newly formulated metallics, creamy mattes, soft shimmer, and intense duochromes. This came with it and this actually tells you which ones are which. It looks like a brown in the palette, but it's like a blue brown or like a tealy brown. This one says it's a metal. Ooh. If you guys want like a full video on like palettes like this where I literally swatch every single one, I'm down. You guys just let me know. Uh, I feel like it's been a while since I've done like a palette review video. Like I'll do tutorials. Oh, that duochrome is beautiful um, and stuff like that. The metallic's really pretty, even though I had red shadow on, so you can't really... I'm a mess. <laughs> What's new? Yeah, again, I really like BH Cosmetics shadows, so I'm excited to try all of these palettes. I went a little overboard with the palettes. I just get so drawn in. I really want that festival palette, but it's probably just because everyone's using it. And by the time I would actually use it, festival season will be over because I'm the worst. But yeah, this looks beautiful. All right, love. So that is everything that I picked up from BH Cosmetics this haul. Let me know which of these items you want to see in videos the most. Please subscribe if you want more BH Cosmetics videos and give this video a thumbs up so I know. I totally had my thumb like in my sweater. Thumbs up. Just let me know what you guys want to see next. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Oh, this sweater is comfy. It's comfy. Look at this. Look at this sweater. Oh, I'm wearing a blanket. It feels so good. Will you subscribe? Come on, you want. Come, let's be friends. Whoa. I thought maybe I had the receipt for this, but I lose everything, um, especially receipts. Usually, a lot of, again, a lot of their products are really affordable. Wow, that's like a downright mirror. Like, you can literally well you can see my mess but that's that's literally i can see my face you can look glam reflection like for real reflection that was clever bh cosmetics that's clever i need another makeup wipe because this is like pig mint tit um i don't actually love to do that i'm just really good at doing that so i just love a cool toned dusty pink like i just some stuff chunked up on this wand, so that's weird. Do you see it? I don't even remember what on this, but I, obviously I did. Boop, 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 right on those apples. Get it, girl. Get it, girl. Yes, brush is gonna cut you. Not really. Not really, but maybe. So this is what they all look like. Whoop! Someone has a shopping problem. Oh my gosh, careful. My hands are dirty <laughs> from so many swatches. Um, yeah, as always, sorry, I've got a tweaker back here. I don't know what's happening. And I'm sleepy. That doesn't exist, but in my, back in my day, um, 